dear students the next uh, part of the differential equations uh, solution procedures is linear differential equation and uh, bernoulli's differential equation now we have started our journey in studying the differential equations right from the first topic that is separation of variables next is homogeneous and next is reducible to homogeneous next is exact differential equation and another one is uh, non exact differential equation since it is not there the next part of that is not there in your syllabus so that i will skip that then i will directly go to bernoulli's differential equation but to understand the bernoulli's differential equation you must know what is the meaning of uh, linear differential equation so because bernoulli's differential equation is a non linear differential equation and it will be reduced to the linear form but before that how to understand linear differential equation what is the meaning of linear differential equation and what is the integrating factor in the linear differential equation because when once you have bernoulli's differential equation which is said to be non linear all these things will be counted all these things are to be uh, followed in order to solve the non linear differential equation okay so the next uh, complete discussion next lecture uh, will be the uh, will involve the discussion of uh, linear and uh, linear differential equation and bernoulli's differential equation maybe i shall take a few examples in linear differential equation but bernoulli's is in your syllabus uh, bernoulli's differential equation i'll give more examples in bernoulli's differential equation but to solve the bernoulli's non linear you need to understand the linear differential equation okay what is a linear uh, differential equation because when we started our uh, discussion of the differential equations two important definitions we have defined that means three important definitions what is a differential equation i repeat uh, differential equation is one which contains the differential coefficients and that has two types of uh, differential equations one is ordinary differential equation and another one is partial differential equation okay now it is not our uh, part that we have to study uh, partial differential equations that will be in the in another uh, 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 syllabus that is not in the present syllabus of uh, math dip uh, 301 so that is partial differential equation is in another syllabus okay after that uh, what is the order of the differential equation what is the degree of the differential equation these two things we have to understand and later we will have to switch over formation of differential equation and uh, solution of differential equation that solution will go for various uh, methods but for the lateral entry syllabus that too it is mat dip uh, 301 only few methods are introduced that is bernoulli's and exact differential equation that is also mentioned without integrating factor that is referred to the exact differential equation but earlier to bernoulli's differential equation you need to understand what is linear differential equation okay let me explain first of all uh, the definition of the linear differential equation and how it is going to be in the standard form in two different cases one case in the form of dy by dx and another case in the form of dx by dy okay so uh, these two are the very important cases in the differential equations where uh, linear and non linear forms uh, we are going to discuss okay linear ode and bernoulli's ode this bernoulli's ode is non linear non linear ode this is to be reduced to linear ode this you have to understand this is not there in your syllabus but without this you can't study this bernoulli's differential equation you have to understand this it is just like uh, Uh, without uh, uh, defining the set theory then we are going to understand uh, the uh, database management in the uh, it related uh, subjects which is most important to understand the set theory vectors sp vector spaces linear transformations likewise here 
linear ODE, what is the nature, what is the solution? It is going to be applied for Bernoulli's differential equation. Fine. Now, what is first linear differential equation? Uh, definition I will write of linear ODE linear differential equation definition I am going to write that if the dependent variable what is the dependent variable in any functional relation dependent variable that is uh, y for example and its derivative and its derivative and its derivative appear and its derivative appear only with first degree only with first degree and they should not they should not be multiplied together. If the dependent variable y and its derivative, for example, derivative is dy, okay, uh, together, multiplied together, okay, this you can take it as standard definition. If the dependent variable y and its different derivative must appear only with first degree, this y degree is 1 and dy it is degree is 1, first degree and they should not be multiplied together. What do you mean by they should not be multiplied together? Uh, the meaning is y into dy should not appear y into dy if it appears then we will call it as it is a product that is a, a, a certain kind of a product where uh, that product uh, uh, needs uh, the analysis in a different way but it is not in linear differential equation but if it is appeared then we need to arrange in the form of dx by dy. So this is called linear different then ODE is linear that is linear differential equation okay the standard form what is the standard form then the standard form standard form of ODE is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x this is very important this is the equation of one kind that means uh, first type we can write. This is linear differential equation with uh, uh, y in numerator and x in denominator whenever the product of the type y into dy is not occurred. If it is occurred then we need to rearrange then also we can uh, study the solution of such linear differential equation. Anyway, this is a standard form of uh, differential equation. Right side there is no y but left side first term is derivative which is not multiplied by anything and second term which is uh, p of x that means function of x and then multiplied by y with first degree. This is linear with first degree we call linear in y that is linear in y means what? This y degree is 1 that is called linear, linear means first degree, quadratic means second degree, cubic means third degree. Then this differential equation is of linear that is with first degree. Okay. Now what we do here? Solution. What is the solution? Then the solution, then the solution is given by, solution is given by y into i f y into i f is equal to y into i f is equal to integration that is q of x 
whatever the right side is there this is into if right and then it is dx and then plus of constant this step is uh, to be remembered thoroughly that is dependent variable in this case is y in this example y is dependent variable and x is independent variable why it is because you have written the differential coefficient as uh, dy by dx D differential coefficient as dy by dx means y appears in numerator and x appears in denominator for the relation y is equal to f of x is there for the relation y is equal to f of x is there then y into if is equal to qx where that integrating factor will be if what is that if is equal to e to the power integral it is p of x it is dx these are the steps you have to remember in the case of linear differential equation this is linear in y means that is y with first degree we call it as linear differential equation in terms of y that is with first degree now if it is if this is not the case for example if the problem includes if uh, y into dy occurs if y into dy occurs then then we have the type second as dx divided by dy you interchange x and y in this equation that is plus of it is p of y into x is equal to q of y this is second variety this is equation number two then uh, solution for this is you have to write solution uh, x into if in place of y into if you have to write x into if is equal to integration it is q of y into if instead of dx you have to write dy it is plus constant this is the solution procedure where if where if is the integrating factor if i will write in full form integrating factor integrating factor that is if equal to e to the power integral it is p of y into dy this is all about your linear differential equation theoretical discussion that means all details for the linear differential equation you have to understand all these uh, uh, steps but more importantly uh, this is the method in most of the problems will be will be appeared of course uh, that is dy by dx is the straightforward approach where you need to calculate the uh, integrating factor using that p of x that means term only in the form of x in the power of that exponential under the integral sign okay first of all based on this information i will solve one or two examples then i will go for uh, bernoulli's differential equation using these details example of using that is linear differential equation solve uh, that should be 2 into y minus 4x square it is dx plus x into it is dy equal to 0 verify this this is uh, given not in the form of dy by dx but this is given in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 so first of all you take uh, the uh, re uh, rearrangement of the given problem in the type that is standard form whatever it is explained 
that is 2 into y minus 4x square dx plus x into uh, dy is equal to 0. That means you have to write uh, by observing whether this type of product appears or not. Here dy is not multiplied by y anyway then you need to take that term as it is that means x into dy uh, in the form of uh, dy by dx form because it is not dx by dy form because y is not multiplied to dy. Okay. Let us rearrange this problem. Let uh, 2 times y minus 4 x square it is dx plus x into dy is equal to 0 dividing by dx first of all dividing by dx means 2 into y minus 4 x square and it is uh, plus of x into it is dy by dx it should be in the form of dy by dx form only but before that what you have to understand is whether it is uh, possible to separate the variables whether it is a homogeneous differential equation or it is a non-homogeneous differential equation or it is exact differential equation or it is non-exact differential equation. Okay. Anyway, it is not a homogeneous because x degree 1 and x degree 2 here. Anyway, that changes. So, immediately you can say that it is not a uh, separation of, uh, sorry, it is not a homogeneous and separation of variables is no, also not possible because summation of two terms is there. Here it is highly impossible to separate and exact differential equation only one uh, step you can check that is del m by del y is equal to that is 2 and del n by del x is equal to 1. Anyway, it is not going to match then it is not the exact differential equation. Therefore, all these three cases fail. Now, we will verify whether this is a linear differential equation. If it is so, then what kind of linear differential equation that we have to solve. Okay. This is 2 into y minus it is uh, 4 x square plus x into dy by dx uh, it is equal to 0. Then we will check uh, these cases as uh, 2 into y minus 4 x square plus x into dy by dx. So, first I will write dy by dx as the first term x into dy by dx plus 2 y minus 4 x square uh, into 2 that is right that is equal to 0. That means second term I, I have written as first term 2 I have taken inside 2 into y that is 2 y 2 into minus 4 that is x square separately I have written. Now dy by dx is free from the coefficient I will shift this x that means dividing throughout by that is x then what you are getting dy by dx plus of it is 2 divided by x into y equal to 8 x square. Now, you check this carefully. This equation exactly matches with the standard form of linear differential equation because Bernoulli sees uh, the degree when it is explained as more than 1, but here it is degree that is 1, 2 divided by x that is multiplied by that is y, y power is that is 1. Therefore, it is linear differential equation. And uh, according to our definition of the linear differential equation, you can also verify uh, this differential equation, the dependent variable y and its derivative must appear with first degree and they should not be multiplied together. They should not be multiplied together means dependent variable y appear independently and its derivative appear it is not a product and both of them are with first degree. So, both the conditions are satisfied then this is called linear differential equation. Okay. Then you can name this equation as 1 here 1 is similar to 1 is similar to the standard form the standard form of 1 is similar to the standard form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to k 
u of x. Therefore, what is p of x is equal to 2 by x. What is q of x is equal to 8 x square. Right side q of x meaning is function of x alone. Left side p of x means that is also a function of x alone but multiplied by y. Okay. So now exactly this one ma mapping with the standard form of linear differential equation. Now the next job in, in front of us is to solve this differential equation using this step. But to apply this step you need to calculate what is the value of integrating factor. Now integrating factor integrating factor is given by what is that if for the above said differential equation we are taking the integrating factor using exponential power that is integration p of x it is dx will be e to the power integration 2 divided by x into dx e to the power 2 times it is log x. This is equal to e to the power log of x square. This is equal to only x square because e to the power log x is equal to only x is there because by the formula you can make out e to the power log x is only x therefore x square can be written and there it is uh, 2 times of log uh, x is there this one e to the power that is n log m that means log of m to the power n I have written in that way that is e to the power log of x square that means the uh, logarithm formula from answer to the question we have written like uh, log of m to the power n is equal to m log uh, uh, m to the power n is equal to n log uh, m. So, that is the integrating factor. Now, what we do with this integrating factor? This will help us to reduce uh, this uh, uh, solution to write the solution directly. What is the solution? This is a linear differential equation you can write. This is similar to the standard form that is nothing but linear in y linear in y because this y degree is 1. This is very very important. This y, y has got the degree 1. Therefore, now the solution is given by solution is given by what is that equation? Uh, dependent variable y and multiplication of integrating factor is equal to integral that is q of x right uh, into i f right and uh, dx and plus of constant ok. So, what is that i f it is x square is equal to q of x is 8 x square into x square it is dx plus of constant therefore x square y is equal to 8x to the power of 4 and plus constant. This is your complete solution of this problem. This is the analysis of linear differential equation, how to find out the integrating factor and then how to write the solution. Because this will help us to analyze all the problems of Bernoulli's differential equation which are said to be non-linear, they will be reduced to the linear through some procedure later I will explain and uh, uh, but before that you have to understand uh, you have to become more familiarized uh, with the solution process of uh, uh, linear differential equation because the same steps I am going to use there is no new step in that uh, Bernoulli's differential equation we have to use ok. I will take one more example because you need to understand uh, the particular value of the constant I will take one more example with uh, uh, initial condition. What is that in initial condition? We will verify. Solve so, 
1 plus y square dx 1 plus y square dx is equal to tan inverse it is y minus x and then it is dy at x equal to 2 and y is equal to 2. This is the problem uh, appeared in almost all the questions where uh, initial condition is a uh, rare occasion, but this problem is uh, to be taken care of with uh, maximum uh, some priority because it is with uh, trigonometric function and also inverse function and also it is a different type. It is not in the first case 1, it is in the case 2 because this dy is multiplied by y. Therefore, it is not coming in dy by dx form, it should be in the form of dx by dy. Let us see how the solution steps are going to support to give the solution in the form of linear differential equation which is written according to the case number 2. Then rearrange uh, that equation in the form of uh, y is multiplied to dy. Here, here y is multiplied, y is multiplied to dy, then it is, it is linear in x, it is not linear in y, linear in x. Then you can write uh, linear in x means it should be dx by dy, then 1 plus y square, okay, it is dx equal to tan inverse, it is y minus x and then it is dy, dividing first of all by dy, dx divided by it is dy is equal to uh, dx, d, uh, dx divided by dy that means this I am taking to the LHS, right. Then it is tan inverse y, okay, minus x whole divided by 1 plus y square. Uh, even from my, my suggestion also, from my side also, extra importance you have to give while uh, practicing this problem because this is a very 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 uh, uh, serious observation in this y is multiplied to dy you do not write this one as dy by dx because repeatedly uh, we emphasize more on that when the term y in any form is multiplied to dy then you cannot take this as a linear differential equation in that form that is dy by it is dx, it should be in the form of dx by dy. So, what is your standard form of dx by dy? That is dx by dy plus of py into x is equal to qy. Now, you can easily arrange according to that type that is dx divided by dy plus of p of y into x that is minus of x divided by 1 plus y square you bring it to the left side and on the right side that is tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square. Now this is again rewritten in another form that is dx divided by dy how we have to write x outside. Therefore, 1 divided by 1 plus y square, where you will keep this x outside, this is tan inverse, it is y divided by 1 plus y square. Understand this problem repeatedly with uh, what uh, special suggestions I am giving for this problem. Uh, this is linear in x means, you have to write x with first degree like this and derivative not dy by dx but you have to write in the form of dx by dy. Okay. So, now this is ready with uh, the form dx divided by dy plus p of y into x is equal to, is equal to q of y. Right. Then, uh, 
what is the next step? You have to calculate the integrating factor. Anyway, we have to write the solution. To write the solution, that solution needs the introduction of uh, integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? Integrating factor is to be calculated in terms of y, that is all. Integrating factor that is i of z equal to e to the power integral that is p of y into dy. What is that step? e to the power that is p of y 1 divided by 1 plus y square it is dy. What is this uh, 1 divided by 1 plus y square integration? That is uh, tan inverse, right? That is integration dx divided by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse, it is x by a. In this case, a is 1 and uh, x is y. Therefore, this becomes e to the power tan inverse y, that is all e to the power tan inverse y is the value of your integrating factor for the existing step. What is that existing step? This one is linear form, linear differential equation, then the corresponding integrating factor takes e to the power tan inverse of y. Okay. e to the power tan inverse of y is there, that is in the form of function of y alone. But earlier in the previous problem, it was function of x alone. Now, we will utilize this value in writing the solution for the differential equation which is not said to be, which is said to be uh, a linear differential equation but in linear in x but not linear in y. Okay. Now, the solution is given like this. Solution is uh, instead of y into integrating factor, here we will write x into integrating factor that is equal to integral q of y into i of that is dy and plus constant x into i of x into i of is what uh, that is e to the power tan inverse tan inverse y left side and right side q of y is what tan inverse y by 1 plus y square into e to the power it is tan inverse y right and it is dy plus constant. This is a very uh, interesting step where uh, you need to take substitution. In this substitution you have to consider so cleverly which term you are going to select as substitution after differentiation that value from the differentiation is going to be generated, it should appear uh, for the entire replacement. So, that is there in this problem, uh, that is nothing but uh, uh, which term you are going to take on the right side as a substitution because we have to integrate directly, uh, no formula will be supporting, but you have to go for substitution. Put tan inverse y is equal to t, for example. Then what is tan inverse y differentiation? 1 divided by 1 plus y square it is dy is equal to dt. That means it is there 1 divided by 1 plus y square into dy you can replace by dt. This you can take it as t this one and this you can take it as t. Afterwards it will be convenient step for uh, writing the next step of integration but this is this is most important uh, step because you can't choose 1 plus y square is equal to t or uh, you can't choose complete exponential term as t and uh, don't do those mistakes but here only tan inverse y if you take the uh, substitution then it will produce the corresponding coefficient along with dy for the entire replacement this is what the quantity okay then x into e to the power tan inverse y is equal to that is integration. In place of tan inverse y, I will put it as t. In place of 1 divided by 1 plus y square into dy, I will place it as uh, dt, but e to the power t into dt plus constant. 
you can you can you can see the uh, beauty of this uh, simplification uh, step such a uh, complicated uh, product type term that too with the uh, inverse trigonometric function is reduced to very simple term where integration by parts you have to apply that is t into e to the power t it is a very simple case where your uh, generalized formula you can easily apply. Now this is a first function this is a second function otherwise this is u and this is v you can do it by parts by parts you can write by parts t into e to the power t minus uh, t differentiation is 1 and twice integration remains to be same that is e to the power t only. So, what is that e to the power t uh, that is t value to be replaced plus of constant x into e to the power tan inverse y this is the uh, step after the integration then finally x into e to the power it is tan inverse y is equal to that is t uh, t means what that is tan inverse y okay tan inverse y and e to the power tan inverse y minus e to the power tan inverse y and plus constant is your final correct answer this is your final correct answer of course this is a quite uh, uh, quite a number of times this problem in every scheme people are asking and uh, why that is there is some uh, curiosity in this problem because y is multiplied to dy uh, people suddenly write uh, uh, as dy by dx form but that that does not support because when y is multiplied you have to go for dx by dy plus p of x into sorry p of y into x then it is equal to q of y is there okay what we have to do now uh, we have to make use of this initial condition okay this constant is to be evaluated as a numerical value what is that x equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 that is 2 into tan inverse 2 into tan inverse of y is equal to it is tan inverse sorry tan inverse 2 and tan inverse it is 2 uh, in place of y and e to the power that is tan inverse 2 minus e to the power tan inverse it is 2 and plus constant that is uh, c value directly you can write uh, uh, taking that uh, c separately that is equal to 2 times tan inverse 2 you can write a numerical value by looking to the calculator that is tan inverse of 2 and uh, Min, uh, the, that comes to be left side uh, with uh, minus sign that is e to the power tan inverse 2 multiplied by multiplied by tan inverse 2 right c is equal to tan inverse 2 right and minus 1 minus 1 where this exponential term will become common. So, this is the solution where this is the solution where c is equal to this is the answer that means it is the constant when x value is given y value is given then you need to write the values of the constant uh, sorry value of the constant by the help of the given initial condition that is carefully to be done x equal to 2 y is equal to 2 any number they give but whatever the number they give you have to put it at the end then c value will be uh, calculated as a final numerical value. Let me take one more example and then I will conclude this linear. I will uh, move on to the Bernoulli's differential equation, but to one more uh, problem uh, I will solve on this uh, topic. <coughs> one repetition of the problem I will give then I will close so that uh, plenty of problems are available in the gravel textbook you can collect uh, 
at least uh, five five problems in each topic and then you can make perfect uh, for uh, understanding the implementation of the concept okay so according to linear differential equation we have the problems with the uh, initial condition and without initial conditions also then one more situation i will take <coughs> solve x to the power of 5 plus 3y x to the power of 5 plus 3y dx minus x into dy is equal to 0 at y1 equal to 2. Let us verify how the constant value will appear uh, at independent variable x equal to 1 and dependent variable y is equal to 2 we will write the solution ok. Uh, now the main observation uh, as you did in previous problem here also you have to do that uh, this is a very simple case dy is not multiplied by y then without any hesitation you can go for writing the differential equation in the type 1 right. So this is it is linear ODE it is linear ODE of the type what type I can write dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x that means it is linear ODE in y linear in linear in y means first degree in y first degree in y means uh, the coefficient is in terms of x but this degree is 1 in another form that is in the previous problem where x was there and inside the brackets y was there that was in the reverse order ok. So now the solution but the problem is not in the ready form you have to rearrange it ok. Then given x to the power of 5 plus 3y right it is dx minus x into dy equal to 0 ok. So when it is of that type dy by dx then divide by dx first of all divide by dx x to the power of sorry divide by dx implies x to the power of 5 plus 3y right divide by dx means this will go uh, minus x into it is dy by dx correct huh? this is multiplied by dx I am taking div a total division uh, of this step by dx by dx then it becomes dy by dx right uh, then it is uh, anyway it is equal to 0 now this must be written minus x into it is dy by dx ok plus of x to the power of 5 plus of 3y is equal to 0. Now anyway it is an independent term that means bracket if you release uh, both are uh, positive terms x to the power of 5 with plus sign 3y with plus sign ok. So now once again I will divide I will remove this minus x minus of x is there then dy by dx ok uh, what is that minus x plus of plus of uh, that is x to the power of 5 divided by minus x ok and plus 3y divided by minus x that is equal to 0. Now you have to arrange according to that form right side it should be function of x alone it should be free from y it should be free from y means this is the term therefore dy by dx and uh, uh, this is to be taken to the right side one x will cancel and this becomes x to the power of 4 right side is plus x to the power of 4 and this becomes uh, 3 by x it is uh, of the px form that is plus of minus 3 by x is the coefficient for linear differential equation of y with first degree and that is equal to x to the power of 4 this is the 
construction of the problem first. It is just like designing the problem, designing the problem for linear uh, ODE. That is dy by dx, this is the term and uh, anyway I will write here itself dy by dx plus of px into y is equal to q of x. See that dy by dx as it is and p of x minus 3 by x and y with first degree this is also with first degree x to the power of 4 is free from y this is function of x alone. Now the problem is designed and set according to the linear differential equation of case 1 that is standard form that is the first case. When once you declare this is a linear differential equation then you need to study the solution of differential equation which requires the calculation of uh, solution of a linear differential equation which requires the calculation of the integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? Here I will write separately integrating factor is equal to e to the power. So directly without any hesitation you can write in terms of x because dy by dx form is there. This should be p of x right dx. This is e to the power integral. It is p of x minus 3 by x right. It is dx nothing but e to the power minus 3 times it is log x then it is equal to e to the power log of that is x to the power minus 3 then the final answer is x to the power minus 3. You check once again this is minus 3 by x minus 3 by x and the integration gives minus 3 log x and the simplification gives that is uh, log of x to the power minus 3 and the final answer is x to the power minus 3 that value is correct. Then using this integrating factor uh, of course uh, initial condition is also given right. Using this uh, integrating factor we will write the solution. Solution of linear ODE linear ODE is given by you have to apply this initial condition is given by should be y into i f is equal to integration uh, what is that q of x into i f into dx and plus of constant. This is the step uh, you have to follow for the standard format dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x this should be q of x ok. So y into should be x to the power minus 3 right that is equal to uh, right side what is the term x to the power of 4 you write that and x to the power minus 3 is the value of integrating factor that is dx plus constant ok. So this is equal to integration basis same powers can be added only x remains and it is dx it is only x remains dx plus constant what is this what is this y into x to the power minus 3 y into x to the power minus 3 is equal to x square by 2 plus of constant y into x to the power minus 3 is equal to x square by 2 plus constant. What is the uh, final answer? That means you can bring this x to the power minus 3 denominator y divided by x cube you can write like this is equal to x square by 2 hope it is correct integration of x you are writing x square by 2 and this is multiplication correct and plus constant. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the uh, general solution where you, you can expect uh, the presence of arbitrary constant otherwise constant of integration. This is not a particular solution. Now to obtain the particular solution uh, that means particular value of the constant 
this initial condition is to be taken at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Therefore, uh, this gives y is equal to 2 means you will put 2, you will put 1 uh, whole cube. This is x is 1 square divided by 2 and plus constant. What is the answer? This is 2, right? Equal to 1 by 2 plus constant. Plus constant, that means c can be separated. 2 minus it is 1 by 2. What is this? Uh, 2 minus 1 by 2 means 4 minus 1 by 2. 2 to the 4 and minus 1. Therefore, c is equal to 3 divided by 2. This is the value of constant where you have to write the final answer after getting this step. Right? That is y divided by x cube. y divided by x cube that is equal to x square by 2 and uh, plus of it is 3 by 2. This is the final solution of uh, the constant uh, calculation uh, means as a numerical value you can obtain there as a final uh, uh, solution if we will call it as particular solution. It is not general solution at this stage but this is general solution in the presence of arbitrary constant but in the presence of particular constant you can write it as uh, the uh, particular solution with a particular numerical value. So, these are the cases in the linear differential equation. So, now I shall move on to uh, the uh, study of Bernoulli's differential equation because that is our goal. Uh, Bernoulli's if you do not understand these details we cannot solve Bernoulli's differential equation because in your syllabus it is given only Bernoulli's differential equation. But before that you must be uh, well equipped with uh, linear differential because same steps you have to apply. The, without these steps you cannot solve that problem. It will be only the nonlinear form. In my nec next discussion I will take up uh, these uh, uh, study of uh, Bernoulli's differential equation and its ex expansion that means you know, both uh, types of problems with uh, initial conditions and uh, without initial conditions and how those differential equations can be handled uh, we will see that. Once again I uh, recommend any textbook you refer but according to your syllabus Gravel textbook is there. Keep one Gravel textbook in every uh, library it is available otherwise if you have your own copy and extend on linear and uh, Bernoulli's differential. The entire discussion what I am taking I am responsible uh, as per the VTU guidelines I am responsible to uh, make uh, the reference of BS Gravel textbook because the syllabus is based on, prepared based on Gravel textbook. You see that page and uh, see that extra problems you must practice. Thank you.